Jordan, David, this space is filled with people who have so much love for both of you. Ordinarily, I'd ask that you just take a quick moment to absorb it all. But I think under the circumstances, we'll move forward. Now, the wedding ceremony consists of two parts. The first part is moving back this way. Love is not just an emotion, love is a decision. And so by accepting Jordan's item of value, David will obligate himself to Jordan, accepting upon himself the ketubah obligations of his bride, the binding nature of marriage, and the deep responsibility of love. I know what you all may be thinking, who chooses to get married in Texas in summer? <laughs> in the blazing heat and the potential deluge and thunderstorms, we did. These guys! Magical. You know, you plan things, and uh, sometimes things don't go to plan. But they turn out better. And when it was over, Jordan and I sat together, and I looked at her, fighting tears, and I said, Jordan, I probably wouldn't change a thing. Because it was awesome. And I loved every moment of it. We'd like to uh, welcome everybody here tonight. The Sampson family have traveled from many different countries. Liz and I have a lot of family and friends that have come from far away. Our own families are here to celebrate. Let me take you back to the first time we met Jordan. She was coming over to our house for a casual Shabbat dinner, and before she came, Lily ran to my room and anxiously asked, Jess, do I hug her? Do I shake her hand? I don't know what to do. The next day, on a Facebook Messenger, I wrote, Jordan, it was so nice meeting you. Out of all of David's girlfriends, you are definitely my favorite. Hope to see you again soon. Jordan Dave, what could I say but finally? Your love is contagious, and there wouldn't be a more perfect couple on this perfect weekend. I knew you would be the one who would marry my sister and handle my psycho, crazy, fun, but loving family. I'm Elliot, Riley's fiance. The story that I'm about to tell you happened almost three years ago. Jordan and David had been dating for about four years at the time. I was scrolling through my Facebook in shul when I came across a comment from my 88-year-old Aunt Pauline from Israel. As I'm scrolling through, I came across Alana Sampson, listed under Pauline's About page. I immediately go outside and call my Aunt Av, and I ask her how Pauline knew Alana, and she explained. That's when I realized that Dave and I were related by marriage. I immediately called Dave, and we were like, holy crap. I still can't believe, out of all the guys at USC, that Jordan falls for someone who has a connection to my family. I'm thinking that maybe God did a little matchmaking.
It's freshman year and Jordan, a curly haired Jewish Kappa is searching for a date for her uh, sorority senior send off event. I always remember David, like he had this cool little accent. And so I like told my friend, who's that boy with the accent? Like maybe I should take him. We got the wedding date on the right side. And then on the pants, hey, how are ya? I had committed to going with another girl from USC, but I always had my eye on Jordan and I had kind of deep down hope that she would want to go with me. We actually had a date to another oh, event. No. Oh. Yeah, cancel. Yeah. Yeah. We went to the senior send-off together. We had a great night. We went in a limousine. It was really a memorable night. He came with me, and that was the first night we kissed. Oh. Jordan has made everyone in our family a better version of themselves. She's the kind of sister who is happiest when I'm happy, she's proud when I'm proud, and she smiles when I'm smiling. I know she always has my back. So when you have the perfect sister and she's getting married, she better find the perfect soulmate. David? <laughs> You cannot be more perfect for my sister, Jordan. The thing about David and Jordan's relationship was that it never really looked hard. On the contrary, they loved each other so flawlessly and so naturally from the beginning. You know, when two individually warm and caring people come together and form a love so organic and so easy, it creates this sort of magnetic force. It makes you realize how good love can be. It draws you in. It makes you want to be around them. Turn around. They look amazing. Damn, you look good. How good does he look? Ready? Let's do it. Go, let's go. Liz and I always enjoy bragging to each other about how cool George is. She can surf, she crushes it on a snowboard, a wakeboard, and a slalom ski, and she can actually barefoot water ski. I mean, really, who could keep up with all that? Well, Liz and I stand before you to let you all know that she has found the one and only one person in the entire world who can keep up and then some. David, or David, as I've been calling him since I met him, is truly the one and only one for Jordan. He is always there when you need him, and even when you don't ask. The Herman family has gained a brother, a son, a grandson, a nephew, and most importantly, a husband to our firstborn child, Jordan. when you first met back in 2009 through a mutual friend at an event at USC. Who knew that one day the two of you would travel the world together? Jordan, you knew. And David, you knew. Because the love that you have for each other is as strong as it is secure. It's as long lasting as it is true. As Shlomo HaMelech says, Maim Rabim lo yoklu lecha bot et ahava. Many waters cannot extinguish the love, and that's being proven true right now. There is no distance. Your love could not travel. Today is your Sinai moment. 
But today should only be the beginning of what we all know will be a remarkable journey, a journey the fruits of which, please God, will forever serve as a bracha for you, for your families, for Klal Yisrael, the Jewish people, and Kol Yoshvei Tevel. Mazal Tov to you both. Mazal Tov! It's you and me, you and me now Living a quiet life It's you and me, you and me now We've been burned once or twice I say Jordan Sampson. We lovingly welcome you into our family. George, seven years ago you came into our lives like a ray of sunshine. It's you and me, you and me now, but we climb a little higher. David and Jordan, and may your home be the kind of home that is so filled with light and warmth, it will spread to the community around you and to the rest of the world, and then we will really, really say L'chaim. Nothing could have prepared me for the moment I saw you walking down the aisle. I want you to know how lucky I feel right now, knowing we're going to grow old together. I promise I will always cook you dinner and never ever let us miss a meal. I promise you're the first person I call with good news or bad news and promise to love you and be there for you through the sweet and the sour. I will do this with a heart full of pride for the rest of my life, knowing I have you, my best friend, by my side. <laughs>